What's up everybody, Rot Rod here. We're down at the annex, playing around with this engine for today. This is a possible core that may end up going in the square. Uh, the goal for today is to start tearing her down and uh, at least just down to the long block, get it ready to get picked out of here and go to the machine shop. And I'm going to see if I can do it without getting attacked by bees. They, uh, they've got to have a nest somewhere around here. They haven't seemed too unhappy with me yet, so... I'm just going to see if I can get stung a bunch of times and go from there. Got my little phone stand... What you call it here, so... Let's see if I can get you guys set up in it. Stand by one second here. See how this goes. I was playing with this the other day. We tried to get it to turn over and uh, weren't having any luck. been covered up for years. Haven't been running a long time. I probably don't have the right tools to take anything apart because I've misplaced all but two of my uh, standard sockets. Um, like I said, we played with it the other day, couldn't get it to turn over. The, uh, got underneath of it and got a ratchet on it and the uh, crank pulley bolt was just turning, so it was it was tightened a little bit. I tried to go backwards, and it's just not pulling this crank pulley, and I didn't want to break it off in there. So we'll see what we can figure out here. This heater hose is just there, I guess. So we'll get rid of him. Uh, do, 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 do. Looking for incorrect sockets and see what we can do with that. Close enough. I don't have a game plan really. Just gonna see how far I can get. It's probably weak. there's a knot on that one. So somebody must have uh, kind of sort of been there before. Because that should just be like a sheet metal screw kind of thing. Just uh, threaded into this bracket. Somebody's had that apart before. What I thought was really cool, this thing has the original GM radiator hoses on it still. Both original upper clamps. The uh, It has one original lower clamp on it still. That uh, Somebody probably replaced the water pump at some point busted that clamp. Um, I really don't want to do a whole lot of beating and banging on this thing because uh, got a nest in the car or something. This setup is a 75, I believe, K5 blazer frame. 
with a, uh, I think like also about a 75 Nova body sitting on it. It's a project that we had started putting together. It had the whole running gear in it for a while. He had started putting it together and just got to the point he didn't like uh, didn't like the way it was shaping up, so he didn't really continue with it. Is there another bolt on the inside that I'm missing? Like I said, I don't want to anger the bees. I don't feel like getting stung a million times. They may have a nest in the core support. So I think I don't want to mess with that too much. That's kind of what I figured. The uh, I don't know why I even attempted that now. It's stuck in the socket. I tried to undo one of the original clamps and it was not having it. There we go. I got it out of the socket at least. No big, I'll just pull the, the whole thermostat housing and everything. There's a lot of bees. I don't know if you can see all of them where you're sitting. They are all over the place. Kind of dispersed a little bit. I'll keep on, keep on trucking. Let's see if I can break this carburetor stud off. I did play with this a little bit yesterday, and uh, the carburetor is actually free, so hopefully it hasn't had a whole lot of moisture get to it. Definitely don't think it's been like soaked, but uh, we'll see. Man, there is a lot of bees. Air cleaner studs out. I see evidence of mice, but no bees. The air cleaner is a uh, little park tray on here. You do want to try and save that fuel line down at the fuel pump. Like I was in here at one time before and took the plate for the fuel pump. I don't remember who needed or what, why I took it off, but. We needed one and this one was there, so I stole it. Screwdriver here. Alright, got one. Um, if it seems like there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm taking apart. Because there really isn't. So the heater hoses are slightly dry rotted. We may need new ones. This guy will just take off with the bracket. Somebody had started pulling this. Because there's no bolt here in the intake. Let's see where you're pointing. Get you up a little higher. And... That should be a pretty decent view for you. Yeah, you can see this bolt's missing. The one in the front that's off out of the frame is, it was just hand tight. 
I unthreaded about half a turn and it fell off. That may be... Maybe one of us started pulling... One of us might have needed that bracket for some reason, or who knows. this alternator really if I can get all right this terminal started coming apart I just uh, let it come apart the rest of the way so that is some wiring to get out of here. That, I'll use that off of my the truck side of things I don't need any really any electronics but yeah carburetors free There's some carbon in there but it's not destroyed or anything Get uh, this whole thing to go off of here. That's 13. Maybe. That works. Just broke uh, that last bolt off for this bracket. Toss them over there in the air cleaner and we're all good. Let's see, what do we got next? That's fine. I don't think the bees agree with me, but uh, that, that's we don't need the fan trap. It was already a multi-piece anyway, so. Just got the belt off of there. Now we can try and get uh, a fuel pump out. If I can get it kind of around the frame rail, just like that. Yep. Yeah. Fuel pump's out, and that's right there. That's an original AC Delco fuel pump. Put that in our parts pile. Um, one thing I thought really cool of this, sorry, trying to see where the camera's at, yeah, that, uh, the mission source right there has a GM part number on it. So the hoses are GM, the, uh, fuel pump is an original GM. Someone's put a starter in it, we've got wires wrapped around things and zip-tied and Not only on like two threads, that sort of thing, so, so that's neat. No worries there. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get the thermostat housing off of here. I do kind of want to save the The radiator hoses if we can. There you go, got one loose. This 
comes up. It's got all kinds of crud built up around it. But that one broke loose too. I don't know if that's threads or just dirt. Not super concerned anyway. I would like to use this manifold if we can, but if not, I'm not super concerned with it. That's yucky. I've seen coolant do that before. It like solidifies the uh, 305 that was in the square body when I got it. It had done the same thing. That gets that out of the way. We'll leave this bracket. That really all that is is an, an anchor. I mean, even some of the late, like, uh, 2000s GM stuff I've seen has those. Like, even some of the LS trucks and stuff like that. That's just an anchor. I guess they use it along the assembly line to... Pick engines or install, what have you. I either just rounded the head off of it. Yep, that's what I did. That's neat. Um, oh no, I broke the socket. I can get it in focus there. I just crack that socket. So we'll do the right thing and just keep him in the woods. That way, next time I go for tools, I won't uh, run into that issue again. If somebody finds a broken socket in the woods, it can become their problem. So we're going to try a metric size, see if we can... I guess I could point you guys the right direction. See if we can either break it or round it off or... Break another socket. Yeah, that one ain't moving. That'll probably be fine there. I can always just grind it cut through the bracket, cut the bolt, and get them out of there that way. We'll go ahead and try get these off of here. So that's going a lot easier. Site. I should have left the fan belt on to take the fan off and pull it. all that stuff. I'm just throwing these bolts in that air cleaner over here. I'm not going to be using any of the V-belt setup. My plan is 
to pull stuff off of a parts truck that we've got. It's a, like a 90s GMC Suburban TBI. There's some thunder. I thought it was, there was a possibility of thunderstorms today. Maybe somewhere. Still relatively sunny here. Let's see if that's the same threads. Just had to get the ratchet back off of there. It might have been the same threads even. Alright. What can we get into next? Oh, okay, I see what happened. The bolt. Get you in here, take a better look. The bolt is spinning fine. The bracket was stuck to the bolt. Let's get the wrong socket on there and see what we can screw up now. I think that's bending everything. what we're stuck on yeah we might still have to grind it off that's not a big deal there we go. we'll just leave that there for now I will see what we can do with these headers These lines off. Trying to see if these have some sort of markings on them. I don't really see a brand, and the, yeah, they're not. They're not factory. Not factory wires. They are some sort of I might hang on to these. They're still still pretty flexible. The HEI wires for headers. I don't know if these valve covers have come off. This, I think, would be a tab for... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the uh, original spark plug wire keeper, whatever you want to call it, would go there. And then that's the original uh, boost cow. You know what I mean. Um, we'll just keep on checking to see if we can get the headers out of there. Okay. It'd be really nice if I was better at guessing sizes. I'm really not. have to get with a wrench. Thankfully they're not stuck or anything so far. We'll see if that comes back to bite me. Where should I go?
thunder. I don't know if you can hear that. Looks like we do have a storm coming in, so we might get cut short before we make any real progress, but we'll see how far we can get before we get rained on. Um, let me see. Okay. 11 millimeter might do us. I'm going to step over here, see if I've got a wrench in my bag. Got one or two. I actually have the right size. I was surprised. I like working on. American stuff. I always lose the standard tools first and then kind of have to make do with the metric. <laughs> 